Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the exercise question number 7 of chapter 12 electricity from class 10 NCRT science textbook. And the question reads, the value of current I flowing in the given resistor for the corresponding values of potential difference V across the resistor are given below. Plot a graph between V and I and calculate the resistance of that resistor. So basically it's a table related to the Ohm's law. During the experiment for every given voltage, the value of current was noted and a table was made after various observations. Now in this question, we have been asked to plot the voltage and current graph based on this tabulation and also we'll have to calculate the resistance of that resistor. Now if you remember Ohm's law, the diagram was like, so this is the circuit diagram. From Ohm's law, we know that potential difference varies directly as the current and as the voltage changes, the current also changes. So based on these observations, a table was made. So let's solve it. This question can be solved in two different ways. Either it can be solved in the graph way as it is asked in this question and secondly we can solve it in the average method which also will solve it. So first let's solve it using the graph method because we are asked to plot a graph between V and I and then we'll find out the resistance of this resistor from this graph only. So let's plot the graph first. So here I have taken a graph in which this is the y-axis let me represent voltage along the y-axis and this is the x-axis and let me represent current along the x-axis. So this is I and this is V. Now let us plot the values. So the value of current and similarly the corresponding voltage values are when the potential difference is 1.6 the current value is 0.5 this is 1.6 and 0.5 so this is the graph and if we join these points, we get a straight line and the line which we get that represents the resistance of the wire. Now, how can we find the value of this resistance? Now, we can find out the value of this resistance from Ohm's law that is V is equal to IR. So R will be V by I. Now, here the value of R can be obtained by the slope of this graph. That is, we take any two points. Let's say we'll take this one and this one these two points let's say this is point a and this is point b now the potential difference between point b and a so it will be b b minus v a by the current at point b minus current at point a now the voltage at point b is 10.2 minus voltage at a is 3.4 divided by the current at b was 3 minus the current at point A was 1. So it is that is 3.4. So the resistance of this wire is 3.4 ohm. Similarly, you can choose any two values of the potential and note down the corresponding current values and you can substitute in this formula to find out the value of resistance. It will come more or less the same. Now this is a graphical method. There is another method to find out the resistance of this wire that is by using the average method using this table. Let's note down the table first. So let's write down the values of V and I. So when V is 1.6 current is 0.5. When the voltage is 3.4 the current is 1.0. When the voltage is 6.7, the current is 2.0. When voltage is 10.2, the current is 3.0. And when the voltage is 13.2, the current is 4.0. For the first case, the value of resistance becomes 1.6 by 0 0.5, that is 3.2. Then 3.4 by 1.0 is 3.4. Next 6.7 by 2.0 is 
3.35. The next value is 10.2 by 3.0, which is 3.4. And the last value is 13.2 by 4.0, whose value comes to 3.3. Now, these are the values of R, which we got in each observation. Now, the value of the resistance can be found out by averaging these values. That is, we'll add up all these values and then divide it by 5. So, it comes to be 3.2 plus 3.4 plus 3.35 plus 3.4 plus 3.3 divided by 5, which comes to be 16.65 by 5, which is 3.33. So, the value of R, which we got is 3.33 ohm now this is the value of the resistance which we get from the practical observation that is if we conduct ohm's law practically in the lab we get this value of r though it is not exactly the same which we obtained from the graph it's only a difference of the decimal numbers so this difference in observation is perfectly okay and your marks won't be deducted for the variations in the values after the decimal part. So these are the two method in which you can do it. Either you can do it in the graphical way or in the average way. But since in the question it's asked, we have to plot a graph and then find out the resistance of this. We have to use the graphical method. So with that, we come to the end of this video. If this video was useful to you, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.